a quick review on the Qualitel Smart Switch and unboxing plus installation and app setup. Uses the Toya Home Cloud, works very efficiently. I purchased this one from Builders Warehouse, about 150 Rand, so quite a cheap alternative to uh, get your house onto the uh, modern systems of a smart house. You can set up scenes, lights can come on and off at sunset if you don't have daylight sensors on them already. Uh, bedside lights can come in so when you walk into your bedroom at night it's already on. Lots of integration potential if you've got the time and the know-how you can really get some fancy things happening with a whole bunch of smart relays in your house. Works very efficiently, love these little devices and they are assembled in South Africa so it's even better. Enjoy the instructions and the review, let me know if you've got any comments down below. Thanks for watching. I do recommend that an electrician does the installation professionally for you and if you are doing it outside make sure it is in a waterproof box. I'm using the Smart Life app here. Uh, you install it as a breaker, a Wi Fi breaker. Very easy to install. Follow the instructions on screen. If you have trouble, hold your finger down on the black button for five seconds so you get a fast flashing blue light and try again. Shouldn't have too much of an issue. If you are having an issue, it might be worth going onto your router or on your phone on the app that controls your router and select that it always uses the 2.4 gigahertz channel because these Wi-Fi relays only work with a 2.4 gigahertz system on your Wi-Fi so do that and you shouldn't have a problem so far I haven't had an issue with these they've installed perfectly first time every time um, so yeah just hold the button down for five seconds to get it to flash rapidly then open the app and get it to all sync up and work good luck You can delve into the settings, you can change the icon so it looks like a light bulb if you're using it on a light bulb. You can change its name and you can go through the app and have a look and poke around and see if there's anything that will work for you. I have all these uh, Toya Smart Life devices running on uh, a Homebridge setup which is a Raspberry Pi which has a operating system called Homebridge which allows you to then natively use Apple HomeKit with these devices it works incredibly well you can talk to Siri get them to turn your switches on and off or get her should I say or it who knows these days so yes you can set it all up nicely trigger it with voice commands which is lovely it's a very stable system and really affordable to set up as well it doesn't cost a lot of money but if you're on android or you just prefer the google home system or alexa then you can get alexa or google to do that for you thanks for watching take care cheers bye